All right, guys, we're going to have a little discussion about joints, and I'm going to show you some ligaments as well. As far as joints, there are some synovial joints that you'll need to be able to identify. So the joints that we talk about, you'll need to say, oh, well, that's a pivot joint, that's a ball and socket joint, that's a hinge joint. Okay, those are the three big ones. <laughs> this is the atlas and the axis stacked on, stacked on top of each other. Here's atlas, here's axis. And here, where the dens attaches to the atlas, you have a joint. And this joint is a pivot joint. Okay, so that allows you to pivot your head. So that would be an example of a pivot synovial joint. We have another pivot joint, and that's at the elbow where the radius and the ulna attach. So right there, the radial head goes into the radial groove. It allows you to pronate and supinate your arm by pivoting that head in the radial groove. So that's another pivot joint. Then we have the hinge joints, and the, the two big hinge joints are the elbow at the ulna and the humerus. So right here would be a hinge joint. So the trochlear notch and the trochlea form a hinge joint at the elbow. We also have another hinge joint, which is the knee, very similar, so between the tibia and the femur. And then we have the ball and socket joint. This is a femur. This is an oscoxa bone. There's your acetabulum. That head of the femur fits in there and can rotate all different directions. So that would be an example of a ball and socket joint. Another ball and socket joint, of course, is the shoulder where the humerus inserts into the glenoid fossa. Okay, so make sure you know those different types of joints.